Hey guys, we're finally doing this. This is going to be a playthrough of the remake version of Resident Evil 2. Recently, I played through the uh, remaster of the remake of the original Resident Evil. You can check that out on my channel. It's an awesome game. I had a ton of fun playing that. And I know for sure I'm going to have a ton of fun playing this because I've played through this before. Now, uh, I played this back when they first came out, so roughly a year ago. And I played the Leon A. Claire B. scenario, and for this playthrough though, I am going to do the reverse of that. So I have a choice to play a new game second run, but I kind of want this to be like a whole new experience. I don't, I don't know, second run sounds like it is a new experience, but I'm guessing it has to have something to do with my previous run. That's why it's called a second run, duh. So I'm just gonna start a completely new game with Claire Redfield. And I don't think I have the balls to go hardcore. So let's go with standard. Now my playthrough can be slow. Uh, I, I could get stuck on puzzles, but I think the scenario has gotta be a little bit improved this one, given that I kinda played through this before. So I gotta remember something. Okay, here we go. Just tell us a story. Yummy. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar. And this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now. How many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. <laughs> Alright, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you gotta stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink their teeth in the middle. I saw that somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. The controller is rumbling my hands. I need some sleep. Turn around for starters. Yeah, I'm almost there. You know me, I'll be fine. Sounds good. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. I will, but I gotta go. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? Speaking of which... Hello? Okay, here we go. The game has begun. Wow, that was a cutscene I've never seen before. Because I played the Leon scenario last time. Oh, she's shooting herself from the ring. This is really cool. I can run. I can run this way, but I don't think there's anything here. By the way, I, I've seen the, the girl who plays... Oh, what's going on? Yeah, I bet she says the same thing on the other end. I've, the, uh, the, the actress who voice acted and the motion captured for clearing this game. I've seen her streaming. 
uh, this game as Claire, obviously. And it's a lot of fun, so definitely check that out if if, if it's still up there. Uh, I saw her streaming on Twitch, by the way. Oh, so we got the sh uh, sheriff's sheriff's uh, car here. Could that be Leon's car? I mean, Leon's car wouldn't say sheriff, would it? So I'm not sure how much spoiler I, w I need to withhold with this playthrough. Usually I am completely spoiler free, but who doesn't know the story of Resident Evil 2? Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Oh shit. I kind of had the same conundrum when I was playing RU1. I was kind of like, do I spoil it or do I not? I mean, RU1 was basically a blind playthrough, but who doesn't know Albert Wesker is a bad guy? And I all, and also know Barry is going to be a good guy because he's in Resident Evil uh, Revelations 2. Well, let's see what we have here. I kind of like to explore a little bit just for the start of the game. So we have some... Not sure what these are supposed to be. I think there's cleaning cleaners. And these are probably shoe shiners. Not entirely sure. Oh, we have snacks. Now that speaks my language. Can we look for some toilet paper? I think they they're kind of valuable these days. And we have some coffee, wine. Oh, there! I think I just lost control of my controller. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Why is this happening? Come on, get it together. That's right. We also have soda. Nice. And we have a man grabbing his injured neck. That's Wait just uh, I'll check it out. I guess that's just standard uh, convenience stores. You know these these stores these days they they sell you anything. By the way, I'm sorry if I'm breaking the tension of this game. It is a... It is a very tense game. I hear struggling. Excuse me, is everything okay? Stay back, man. I got this. Oh god. I I don't th I I think that guy for sure doesn't got him. Oh, Claire has a gun. Oh shit. I was kind of worried that Claire wouldn't have a weapon to begin with cuz Leon is a cop. Uh, so I'm not surprised that he has one. Are you okay, sir? I think I better step away from him. Uh, I'm glad Claire does have a weapon, though, because otherwise I really wouldn't have know what to do there. Hey there. Hi. Nice to meet you. Got a key. Oh, do I get to examine these weapons again? I don't uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, I do. I, I, I already forgot whether that was a fun that was a function here. Storage room key. Not very nice. 
This is my trusted weapon, an SLS-60, 5-shot capacity. Oh, I, I should like to expand that capacity, if that's possible. Nope. Screw that. I don't wanna have... If I don't have to, I don't wanna. Oh, they trapped me here, bastard. I was helping you, man. No way. Can't be alive. Yet here he is. Okay, I'm out. That's all the ammo I got. Uh, okay, let's uh, unlock the door. Not with, not with a pistol, dummy. Oh boy, it's the guy. Holy shit! Um, no, 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 no. Get away from me. Can't see where I'm going. Holy hell, this is intense. Hey, babe. Don't shoot. Get down. Oh, that was a lucky shot. I, it took me a few more bullets than that. We gotta get out of here. You alright? Yeah. I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later. When we're safe. Holy really shit. Some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. And there it is. This is so cool. So you might be wondering if I played this before, why am I still surprised about some of the things that happen, some of the gameplay uh, functions of the game, like whether you can examine your inventory. Let's just say I, I played this a year ago and it's the other scenario. Plus I tend to forget these kind of things. I'm not complaining though, it's it's fun to be able to play through a game you really like well, to the most extent that you can, as if it was a new experience. So here it is guys, Resident Evil 2. If you're watching along, dim your lights. Close the door, turn down every noise, put on your headphones, get in zone. God, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. You'll know something. Yeah, but. If we're the only ones, what if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. There's a jail valentine somewhere out there, if you're interested. Looks like we're 
walking from here. any ammo so we're gonna be on our way so uh, if I remember correctly this is where the original RE2 started and uh, I've heard people like really jokingly complain about that oh shit where do I go can't squeeze through that luckily these guys are really slow but the original RE2 kind of started you off with a car crash and you are immediately confronted by like six or seven of these cre of these zombies. Let's just call them what they are, they're zombies. What the hell? And there's no tutorial, no nothing, you just gotta bring your A game from the very beginning. The police station. Oh, there it is. There. I think one of the more common uh, criticisms of the uh, Re Resident Evil remake series is that they cut out a lot of the uh, a lot of places or the scenarios levels in the game in the original game, and I do believe you gotta spend a little more time on the road before you can get to the station in the original one. In fact, that is uh, one of the more common criticism that's facing RE3 right now, is that the game is too short, they, there are some familiar levels missing. I don't know if I blame them. Uh, to be completely honest, I, I'm not as attached to the original games as a lot of the other fans, so maybe I'm in the, just in the bad place to judge. But... Looking at the game uh, th that they're making these days, like it's, like, it's so difficult to create a f thoroughly create a level. Much more so than back when these games came out, around 2000. Okay! Now that just brings... A sense of warmth in my heart, which is ironic because this place is a nightmare. Anybody here? Oh, this is one of the better fun functions in this game. So when you see the little red tick at the corner, it means the item is expensed there's no more need to use it and you should be able to drop it I'm not sure why you can't right now I think you got a locked up function 
and that is one of the more common Resident Evil trademarked uh, magic boxes. So I'm just gonna store it here. I won't be needing it. Hey, look what we have here. Some ammo. By the way, there's no need to go into the inventory uh, interface to combine them, you know, to reload. And we can save our game. So as you can see, these are my old saves. With the, all of these really are from a year ago. I'm playing this in April 2020. <laughs> and I saved 50, 60 times. Oh my god. You know, I'm just gonna override them. I'm a sentimental and a nostalgic person by nature, but I'm not sentimental enough to uh, have to have to preserve my old saves in a video game. Huh, bloody footprints here, which probably means survivor. I guess the survivor is hiding inside this cabinet. I think these are really cool details. And that's a really old ass computer. Come on, Chris. Where are you? Oh, that's a cool callback. Oh shit. They're inside too. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. <laughs> this is the uh, original fix the camera angle. <laughs> and the the awkward shove. East hallways, so that's where it is. Sure you do. So does I I'm not sure this has been reviewed, but does is there something in the lore that tells us actually what Chris is up to this at this time? Because Claire came here to look for him, that means he's not... He, he, if Claire came here specifically to look for her brother, that probably means Chris is, has been out of contact for everybody for some time now. Well, none, none of these are going to fit in here. We'll have time to explore everything. I'm just seeing if there's any material that I've items that I can pick up right now. If not... Oh, it says keep out. Well, when have you ever listened to signs that look like that? Oh, great. Where are you? So I think Clara is military brat, isn't she? I'm not sure about that. We're going to need to pick up a fuse. I think these are the same steps in the Leon scenario. Oh, by the way, the map. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest and items you have found but haven't picked up. That's right. I remember this very well. The the map system in this game is probably my favorite map in the uh, in any video game ever made. Just you can see so much. Some uh these are points of interest. Like the item box, the typewriter, doors that are locked. Uh, I I mean these are also in the in the REHD remake. But this one will, pro will even tell you if you left behind such as a health kit or herb or ammo. It's incredibly useful and instructive and it's also very well it's just very easy to use. It's focus Claire. Focus. I think I've praised the map enough. Maybe I'm just talking because I'm actually a little nervous. Oh, toilet paper. What a waste. Better stock him up. Ah. 
Aha! This room is open. There's a dead guy. That's lovely. Can we turn on some light? Oh! Some bullet holes. There was a battle here. And somebody was a really bad shot. I mean, you are fighting against the zombies, aren't you? What do we have? More ammo. That's nice. Who is this guy? I don't think he's a... Maybe he's a cop. Maybe I don't think so. He's not wearing the uniform. But I'm not... I'm not sure if cops in the US are required to wear uniforms at all times in the office. I think what the game is trying to, I'm, this breaks the immersion a little bit, but when the game is trying to make you like uh, hold for a very long time for to move some item or squeeze through a little gap or go through a criminally long elevator ride, it usually means it's loading the next level. Because we do. We, Video games made today, they don't want you to think they still has loading screens anymore. Because loading screens are so... 2000... Oh shit. Well, not literally, but... Hey! Uh-huh, no surprises. Oh, we got a health kit. That's something. First aid recovery spray. Where should we have that in real life? Just magically cures all your ailments with an easy spray. Oh, this is the same room we were in. We're going, we're going backwards. See how lousy I am with directions. Even in a three D oh, environment. Oh my god. Uh, we're we're gonna need to work on this. Okay, dead people, dead people, Open dead up. people. Hurry! Open up. Hey. Okay. Not with that attitude. I'm exploring, jeez. This door is closed. It's not like tardiness has ever killed anybody. <coughs> Richard. Mm. I'm coming. Oh, the Daily Raccoon. What's the news about? Uh, maybe we can actually make it out. Missing man found dead in Raccoon City. That is like the laziest titles ever. Body found in woods. Really? That is your big title? I mean, it's kind of nice in, a, in an age of full of, you know, clickbaits that we have simple informative titles like that. Okay, hold your horses. See? Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, maybe not everything, but like 
half of everything is still fine. Officer's note. You got Okay, three things in the goddess statue takes you to the parking lot and a way out. And we have these are the three pink orbs that we need to take put into the goddess statue and some clues as to how to obtain them. Oh boy. Okay. Nope. Get away. Ow. I'm out of here. Screw this room. Um. Okay. Oh man, I was reloading. That was totally uncool. Uh, we don't have the fuse yet. Obviously someone taught you well. Yeah, I know how to take care of myself. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to mm. take that. Your hand is full of blood. So nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, on me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? Well, that's, that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. Hey. Uh, we should probably get you to a hospital. Uh, forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're going to need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now. You probably need this. No. I'm not taking that. You're going to... see one of those things no matter who they were you can't hesitate take them out if you can or you run <laughs> oh I got a combat knife Uh, I can ready and slash it, I guess. I do need to relearn these. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, Claire is also a little bit injured, but 
she's hanging on, I think. I think for now we can kind of make do with just a one health spray. And you know what? I can also save the game. Because no more ink ribbons. No more. Not anymore. So I was kind of wondering what her interaction with Marvin is going to be because they they have a different she, ha, she they have a different relationship between Marvin and Leon because Marvin was expecting Leon. This was supposed to be Leon's first day here. Oh, by the way, can I shoot that? That looks like something you can shoot in the video game. Just saying. Putting the knife to good use. Immediately we have more ammo, which is really nice. Oh, look at that. Green herb. A green herb native to the Arklay Mountains. It will restore a small amount of health. I'm inclined to take it right now. But no, we gotta preserve. Some of your old RE fans may be expecting to see something right here. Oh, this is just freaking creepy. Why is this thing just... Never mind. I don't want to know. Why would you ever want to touch that? Who's there? And some poor guy. So you know this is not the work of zombies. Zombies don't tend to do that. Uh well we need some kind of special key here. I'm walking kind of slowly because I I want to preserve the tension. Ooh, so scared. What is going on here? So it also remembers what, what kind of door this is. And why it's... It, what kind of key it needs to, to open. Uh, we, can have, we can have this boarded up if we have wooden boards, but we don't. Oh, God. we gotta get out of here. Son of a bitch. Um, time to see if they open doors. More ammo is always a good thing. You can never have... Oh, look. Record of events. September 25th, we are turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Addendum to the same day. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. Oh, no, it's not. 
September 26th. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters. But surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape the place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling to disarray here. David Ford. <sighs> David. Oh, shit. David, you have no idea. See, the map is, uh, is telling me that we have a map. Oh, huh, that's kind of... That's kind of nice. That's nice of the map to remind me remind me that there's a map. And now we are looking at a whole other world here. We can go that way, but we can try this door first. And the door is locked. So we're going that way. Anything you want to give me? Thank you. Now these dead people are awfully kind. So, uh, are you gonna be a problem? <laughs> it's a fat guy trying to get snacks off a vending machine. It's mean, but kind of funny. Hey, I'm a, I'm a fat ass too. This is literally me when I turn into a zombie. What is your problem? I don't think he even cares, man. He doesn't, he doesn't want to eat me. He wants whatever's inside. West office. Well, at least this place is, uh... Okay. We got gunpowder. Wait, wait, what is this? Uses of gunpowder. Okay. Uh, two gunpowder is handgun ammo. Gunpowder plus high-grid gunpowder. White is acid rounds. High-grid high gunpowder. Two of them are submachine gun ammo. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention to, so pay attention when you're combining things, or you won't get what you need. That's interesting. Oh sh! Fat guy. This is not the vending machine. Go away! Kidding me? Can I? Thanks. I, I gotta have my. I gotta get my knife back. My my wife. Sorry, my wife. My knife has a durability limit. Are you shitting me right now? Hey, you, sir. Please sit down. Oh, I knocked his head off. Now he's really gonna be mad. Exploring. Oh yeah, this rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is the in is in the initials of our first names. You input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get both. B. 
Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figure that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. <laughs> well, you Scott. <laughs> Lieutenant Brana, so that's this is Marvin. Scrawled in the corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Yeah, he's here now, so... Uh, things didn't pan out. Oh, they have a welcome Leon sign hanging up and everything. I can tell you, I, I did not pay this much attention to everything when I was just playing for my own damn self. More ammo. And Jojo. Hey, Jojo, do you have anything for me? Bad Jojo. So we gotta check out everyone's names. This guy is called a nail. This guy is... Oh, what's he got here? Operation report. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. So this is like one day after the, the last report ended. Well, it's probably just a couple of hours being 2.30 in the a.m. It's down to just me and three others, no weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not gonna make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from his museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm gonna try to find out what I can about the tunnel. Elliot Edward. So, Nail, Elliot, and this is David Ford. This is the guy that filed the last report. So we got... Um, Ned, Elliot, and David. We got Ned. Okay, one down. One to go. Better be something good. This guy, uh, it's on the floor. And it's blocked! Shit! Oh, sc okay, Scott is the surname. He's uh, George Scott. So that's a G. This is Rita Phillips, that's an R, and Marvin. So we got... Whoa, we doesn't have a G here. Now we got that, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Is it not George? Or maybe it's not this plate. Ah, uh, what, what, whatever. I mean, we got two of them. How hard can it be? The second one is Rita. There's no question about that. Hmm. Oh, I see. I I got it backwards. This is the George one. And this should be Marvin. Hooray! Oh, we got some speed loader. So, speed loader. I'm. Sh this it, does this upgrade my weapon? It does. Oh, I forgot this was a thing. That's really cool. I forgot you can. Upgrade your weapons. And it sounds like it's about to be tested. Oh, oh! I was about to go into that room. Holy crap! I am loving this. I don't think he's getting up. I mean, if he, if he gets up in this state, he's going to be a clicker. And I do not want clickers in my Resident Evil. Uh, it's going to need some kind of password. I don't know it. The, the thing that really surprised me when I was playing Resident Evil 1 is, like, how... How few zombies there were for me to shoot. 
like fight fighting with enemies by and by itself is not it did, did not feel like the primary goal with that game I can just go back to the main hall from here oh it needs needs a special key of course when when I was young when, when, when I was a kid like when I think of Resident Evil I I, I thought this was like a zombie shooting game and oh shit by the way not a zombie game the zombie game that's my impression oh damn it okay need to uh, need to use one now Shit is right. Uh. What? Apparently, it can be pretty fast when he wants to. You ask. What? What the hell? Why are you on your knees? What happened to your arm? Ah, this shooting. I was gonna say this kind of bad shooting is gonna bite me in the ass, and then I remember that something might actually bite me in the ass, and it's not bad shooting, and it suddenly did not sound funny anymore. It sounds like there are more. Safety deposit room, let's check it out. At least this, this room is lit. Uh, let's see here. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that a keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else to fuck it up this badly? Well, I don't know who it is. Um, so there are some things in these lockers that we can get to. But we... And there's some, something we can get with a card here. Yeah. Ooh, shotgun. Oh, no. How do they just... How do they find me? Can I just shoot him from here? Ah. Oh no. Well, I'm almost out of ammo. What the hell is up with you? I shot him in the neck, so if that counts as anything. Am I doing anything at all? Okay, so we got things in. Oh. Two and three are missing. Ah, come on, just press through it. You don't actually need a, a plastic button for that to work. So we got. Uh, what we can get is 106, 109. These will work. And obviously nothing with two and three will work for work for us now. Roll film. I I genuinely do not remember what roll film is supposed to be. Can I call someone? I see here. A 
Okay, time. It's my turn to check this out. Oh, so this was open this whole time. He could have gotten. He could have got these. I guess it's one of the pleasures you lose when you, you know, die. Now, where am I going now? Oopsie. These guys don't seem friendly. But hey, that 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 place is completely barred. It's got to count for something. Uh, let's just combine them. You know where this is going. Oh. Oh, this came just in time. Wait a second here. I got the I got just a thing for you, buddy. Right there. Ooh, somebody can't get in here. We can also, of course, explore upstairs. More ammo. Another... Oh, this is gunpowder. Cool, let's uh, combine them. And make more ammo out of them. Uh, medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used the herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we explore these three such herbs native to the Arklay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends. That heightens the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing. <laughs> oh God! Uh, so this is so the the thing that we've always been doing in Resident Evil is that comes from Asian medicine. <laughs> this is uh, the Resident Evil's interpretation of uh, ancient, ancient Asian medicine is that you. you Puts up green herbs and some red herbs together, and voila, magic. Uh, it produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. You know, sometimes, sometimes I, I love these game efforts to build uh, the. To make sense of the world that the game occupies in, but sometimes I just think they should leave it alone. Like, don't try too hard to explain things like how you can save your game. Like, it, it, if they go one step further, they will be trying to explain how I'm I'm able to use this item box and to see all the stuff that I deposited in another item box. I mean, it'll be kind of cute. I will be curious to know what they're going to say about it, but essentially. I really just don't need to know that. And yep, this is a safe room. A safe room. Uh, film contains evidence to not leave out. Some games, they, they go quite a long way to explain basic features like saving. And I find that kind of amu amusing. And combine that with two green herbs. Oh, we can try to use the roll film here. Uh, commemorative photo. So, this is a statue of a king, and he has a staff in one hand and a book in another. It's going to be important.
and we can save the game here. Something they left behind the camera. So guys, I am going to sign off for now. I am so happy I'm playing this game again. Uh, this, I I freaking love this game. This was probably my favorite game from 2019. Although I have to uh, admit that I didn't play a lot of 2019 games to begin with. I probably can't even put up a top 5. With that being said, I'm really glad I'm playing this and I'm super glad that you're here with me. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode where we explore the rest of Raccoon City Police Station.